Martin, what is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle? Um, well, you'll know the name Heisenberg for two reasons. One is you've maybe studied physics, or the other one is you've watched Breaking Bad. Um, Heisenberg was a 20th century physicist. He came out with one of the most important equations in physics, in fact, it's in inequality. And um, what this equation says is that you cannot know the position and the momentum, momentum really being a representation of speed or velocity, you cannot know the position and the momentum uh, with total accuracy at the same time. So what happens is, that, and this applies to uh, atomic particles, electrons say, uh, if you can measure the position of an electron very accurately, what it means is you can't know how fast it's travelling. And if you can measure how fast it's travelling very accurately, you can't know its position. Now, <coughs> the equation that um, expresses this is actually very simple. And if I do do some series, I might do some with some simple equations in, but um, it involves what's called the Planck constant. And there's a bit of a giveaway there, because Planck's constant comes from determining the energy of uh, light particles, the photons. And um, so we're talking about waves. So light can be treated as a wave. So all of a sudden, we're saying that an electron can behave like a wave. And in fact, anything that can behave like a wave obeys the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Now, here's the shocker. A character called Louis de Broglie um, when I was studying physics, my quantum mechanics lecturer took great delight in telling us that Louis de Broglie um, wrote his PhD on a single sheet of paper. And what Louis de Broglie said was that everything, you, me, motor cars, ocean liners, have a wavelength, can be treated as uh, waves. Now, for objects as big as you and I, then that doesn't really mean very much. You can forget about it. But um, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle applies to things that can be treated as waves, which electrons can, photons clearly can, because they're particles of light. And this is uh, part of the wave-particle uh, duality that physicists struggle with. One minute, an electron might look like a particle, you know, literally just a tiny little ball. Uh, the next minute, it looks like a wave, like something you might see on the surface of water. And uh, it depends how you're observing it and so on. But anyway, to get back to Heisenberg, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle applies to things that can be uh, treated as waves, and the electrons can, as can most atomic particles. And because of that, it applies to them. And day in, day out, in test laboratories around the world, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is seen. If you measure the speed, you can't, or you get the speed to a high degree of accuracy, you can't say anything about the position. If you get the position to a high degree of accuracy, you can't say anything about the speed. And it's a fundamental limit on the way we observe the world. Whether it's a fundamental limit in the world itself is another question, but in terms of how we observe the world, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle applies all the time, every time.